Hello, this is Saiken once again in the next post recording. You might wonder why is the current episode split into two? Well, wonder no more. Sometimes uh, the mysteries of OBS as a recording software actually cause a couple of problems. Long story short, the video uh, that I pre-released was no longer compatible to be edited with other videos. It um, only stands on its own. So all I could do is to re-record this intro. I hope you enjoy the rest of uh, the episode, which is a lot of tomb exploration. So let's jump right into that. And as always, stay frosty. Take care. Okay, so after we have uh, killed the boss, I just continued exploring and it just so happened that we stumbled upon uh, the next tome. Um, let's give ourselves a big fat 20% crit chance. Uh, I think that would be good. A bit of this, a bit of that, and a few beans. Actually, save the uh, that. Got a bit of happiness booze, and we're ready to go. I wanted to explore the to uh, tome anyways, so might as well do it now. And good news, we are slowly but surely making progress towards level nine. A group of looters went into the tomb a few days ago. I'm waiting for them to come out so I can arrest them. But if you ask me, the ancients already got them. Nice. Run speed increased. Trade goods reduced. Fantastic. Unfortunately, that would mean stealing. And I don't want to be... I don't want to be war uh, wanted at this point. Let's start exploring to go down. The bookshelves were looted recently. Well, they have already gotten that. They apparently struck it big and wanted more. There is no sign on the wall, nothing. So yeah, door is blocked from the other side, uh, which means really there is only one entrance. This mechanism was looted, hard to say what the ancient used it for. There is an ornate key required here, but we also need an ornate key for the one quest. Apparently it's difficult to get those ornate keys. Always missing them. Potentially that is more like you need to do more side quests. I wouldn't know where else uh, we would get them. The door is locked from the other side. Is there a door? Okay, apparently there is another door. Something making sinister sounds south of your position. Well, what could that be? I wonder. Good, we found a rune uh, here. Helps us to discover even more of the ancient uh, tomes that we're going to find. Okay, again, no sign, nothing. Well, this is potentially going to be a fight here. Hard to believe that it isn't. By Jeru! Celius is dead! Dead! He was no lot picking expert, but the dark came out of the wall so quickly, he didn't stand a chance.
Damage of attacks from behind increased by 5%. Yeah, we have that 15% version. Anders has been hit in the shoulder. Let's continue. The stakes are a bit higher. This per, uh, this particular time. This will cost us quite a bit of medicine. Okay, cool. So what did we get? You unlocked the chest mechanism. Get an ornate key and a few other things. Cool. Door to the entrance opened. And what else do we get? Not much really. The dart came out of the walls. Yeah, I, I understand that. The dart really came out of the wall. It, by the way, hit us as well. Good. So that's the entrance. Going deeper. This door is still uh, locked, which means we need to go ahead. And I wonder when we're going to be ambushed the first time. There you go. You hear a growl and you are surrounded. Level 10. Well... Once again, we're being surrounded. Namri up here. And Jim over there. All right. Let's head out into the darkness. Find ourselves a couple of mole rats. Unbelievable. Unless you're standing right next to them, you can't even strike them. All right, first hit, great. This unfortunately won't be so good. hearing more action coming from the right hand side well we're giving you guys orderly and that's our turn Hit once, hit twice, and move back here. Hit once. 
it twice and move them very, very far away. Alright, this has to stop. One down. Many rats. You know what? We're actually staying here. Good. One hit. Kill. Sprints to here. Kill moves to here. All right, one, two, three, four. We know where the reinforcements are. Hit, destabilizing it. I couldn't, I can't quite kill it, but almost. These guys are dealing a decent amount of damage. Holy. Moves to here. Okay, well, I think we found the nest. Twenty seven points. Kill that more rat really badly. Good. That's one. That's two and three, and we have two little uh, hit points. Unfortunately, we took way too much damage, so we're just moving back. Engaging with the creepers, those are the only ones that really deal a bit of damage. The more reds are moderate. So he begins to move up. And shoots this guy back into darkness. Cool. Dilly. I 
think can almost execute him. Yep. Wow, more reinforcements. One, only one. We're almost at, um, almost at the stage of galvanizing. And of course, we're being attacked from behind. Let's kill that creeper. Enders heals up. JP Pauly really has taken a lot of damage. Let's make sure that we're safe from this side. Well, how convenient that I checked. Hit and kill. They we're almost uh, there, but that's surprising. I was, I was expecting we had killed them by now. Potentially, it's due to all of the reinforcements. Moves up, heal Polly. Done. Still not done. Wow. Oh yeah, of course, we need to kill everyone here. That might have just done it. Good, the level 10 uh, ones are dealing a lot of damage, so gotta be careful. Again, I wonder, just out of all of the options, could we wear a torch here? No. I would almost be willing to give up someone's weapon for having another torch. Hmm. Hmm. I'm actually considering it. Because listen, she can't do a lot anyways so having a second uh, torch could help us quite a bit archers are royally screwed and maybe what I'm going to do is dial back on the damage and we're just trying it with one more torch for now Let's inspect this uh, statue. This uh, man is called Behedit. 
Door is of course blocked from the other side. I don't want to use the ornate key. I need it for the quest unless I'm finding a second one. This door again is locked from the other side. And it seems yet again uh, there is no sign here. At least none that I'm seeing. Zero out of three signs so far. Never had that in a tomb, in a tome. Could climb up. Blue TIE Fighter. Okay, that's the start. Blue TIE Fighter. Cool. This unit is not affected by bound debuffs. Bow debuffs. What is a bow debuff? And even more importantly, can we Python our way further down? Apparently the answer is yes, so might as well give it a try. Can we go down even further? Hmm. Too far, too far. Well, hmm. We can get to here, which is a strange place. Yeah, but we can't get any further. to wonder could we maybe get down here and then there maybe yep I saw an option Why is this such a pain in the in the ass? This is worse than XCOM 2 grenades. Basically going down just to have a chance to go down further. Pretty sure I'm missing something. Experienced player will potentially tell me, you know what, Saiken? Oh, that's complete rubbish. You can do it X, Y, and Z, and then... Makes you look like a fool. Down there looks like an interesting place to explore, but apparently... We can't do that.
Yeah, too bad. Okay, apparently... There is no way we can move from here anywhere else. Well, at least that will allow us uh, to come back up here. So back into the tomb it is. Tome. Okay. The other door is locked. We have now opened it. Second ornate key. So we had blue TIE fighter. Is there another sign here? There is another puzzle here. Um, tell you what, so that looks correct, this here looks semi-correct. Okay, this is definitely the ground floor. This is the left hand side. That's the middle. That must be that. And we're done. We have learned the rune terrible. And we got another ornate key. Before we're moving too far in, let's take the left hand side. So blue TIE fighter, red uh, Triforce. Can't do much here. I was potentially just to tell you that it's red Triforce and blue TIE fighter. The figure is out of reach. You need to uh, step the flagstones, uh, step on the flagstones to get it. Okay, before we do that, we're opening the door. Okay, that way is clearly not the right one. Daily G has suffered a wound. Let's heal that real quick. There we go. Rovi uh, take, uh, takes uh, constitution damage. That's not exactly what we want.
and ascenders receives a fracture okay we're out of medicine <sighs> I don't want to go without medicine Little Murphy uh, has a wound that is irrelevant for us. Okay, this is going to be a bit more costly, but we're brute forcing our way through it. Okay, golden figurine. Was it worth it? Potentially not. Potentially not. Uh, I need an apothecary in order to create medicine. So let's get out of here. And you know what? After being beaten up like this, uh, perfect time for a cliffhanger. I think we did reasonably well. There is uh, still a bit more to explore in the, uh, in the tome. In the tomb and uh, we are going to uh, finish that one the next time plus uh, find out what the rest of this map has to offer and then there is still the fate of uh, Grinmare but I am confident that we can manage that as well so thanks for watching if you like tomb exploration if you are a tomb raider pun intended feel free to leave a like down below and let me know how you like the exploration. Take care. Bye bye.